Hey guys, this is Dink Master here, and I, as you know, am located in Louisiana. And right now, something special is happening in Louisiana. The pressure is real low, and we got a big old uh, circular moving kind of deal in the Gulf right now. And it's gaining water, and it's uh, spinning faster. And at about eight o'clock tonight, it's going to make landfall, and that thing is called Hurricane Barry. And uh, right now, it is 6:51, so we got about a good hour and 10 minutes before a hurricane hits Louisiana and I'm outside right now in front of this big beautiful pond and I'm gonna try and catch y'all some bass right before a hurricane hits all right I figure they're gonna be in here because the water's really hot I mean it's been raining probably two days before this even happened Basically, what that is, is right there is where the bank used to be. And since it's been raining so much with this hurricane, it's pushed the water up that much. So I figure the fish are going to be in that unique kind of shrubbery if you watch uh, Monty Python. Honestly, we're just going to go to the juice real quick because I just don't want to get struck by lightning and get like picked up by a tornado or something. So we are in the juice. Right about here is where we're going to start seeing the stuff. Dude, this pond has waves. Guys, so we are gonna go head to a little bitty canal that I'm pretty sure has a lot of bass when it starts flooding. And right now we're really, really south. So basically to put it in perspective for you, um, there's a lot of water coming like up, if that makes sense. So like the ditches are starting to fill up uh, and then that leads to canals filling up, that leads to ponds filling up and then eventually they can't hold all the water and that's when it starts flooding. So right now, that ditch over there is normally, it's normally dry. But when the water comes through, it flows from a river that's way up north. And when it floods, water comes down there and with it comes a lot of bass and a lot of big bass actually too. Uh, so we're gonna go down there and give it a shot. See ya. Oh my God, look at that. 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 Look at that.
right, so we are at the creek, and as you can see, it's got water. So let's see if it's got some bass. Beautiful little large mouth bass. So if you're ever wondering if you can catch bass in a ditch, the answer's yes. Oh, that hurt. Not really sure what just happened but basically I went to throw my bait and as soon as I threw it bait flew somewhere line popped and all the lines somehow recoiled back into my bait cast reel within the split second that it that it flew off and that will bring me to my first point of today's video a helpful tip fishing line will do crazy unimaginable things just deal with it and cut it. Look how line does crazy stuff. I just put my rod back in my car and I went to uh, grab another one. Guess what? They're tangled. All right, on here we got a little Ned rig. Little Cinco. See if we can't get us some. Um... Either way, 